Hey guys, welcome back. As you remember in my last week's video, I was telling you about features to turn off in Windows 11. This week, I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 11 and bypass their pesky need for a Microsoft account. It's something we definitely don't want. They just keep forcing it on us, keep wanting to spy on us. Well, there's a couple of methods that I'm going to go through with you today of how we can avoid that. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Actually, hold up there. We're not going to get into it just yet. I forgot to mention that this video is for people who have a fresh install of Windows. Maybe you've just bought a new copy for your computer, or you've just built a new computer and you're starting fresh. That's what I should have said in the beginning. So now, here we go. Okay, right here you see the Windows 11 installation page. Go ahead and click on Install Now. Then next, choose your language, time and input method and go ahead and click next. Now the next thing we do is click on I don't have a product key. Even if you do have one, don't worry for now, this is part of the workaround. So go ahead and click I don't have a product key. Now go ahead and select the version of Windows that you have the product key for and click on next. Now go ahead and click on custom install. Over here, select the drive that Windows will be installed to and click on Next. Now it will copy all of the files from the flash drive onto your SSD. Once it's done copying all the files, it will reboot the system. When it reboots and your screen goes to black, pull out the flash drive. Once it reboots, it will require you to connect to the internet. And you see down here where you can say, say Next after you choose your network. Well, it doesn't have an option to say, I don't have internet. Why? <laughs> That's totally pointless. We don't want to connect to the internet, so here's what we have to do. The old way to bypass this was to hit Shift plus F10, and that brings up the command prompt. Then you type Task MGR, and that takes you to the Task Manager. Then you'd go to Processes and find Network Connection Flow. You'd right click that and end its task and that could get you past the internet requirement page. If that doesn't work, here is a second more proven method. We do shift plus F10 again to bring up the command prompt. Only this time we type in OOBE backslash bypass NRO. Of course typing it in without the quotes. After the OOBE command it'll reboot and then you'll be brought to the select country screen then of course select your keyboard layout then you can choose another keyboard layout if you wish and now as if by magic there's an I don't have internet button wow where did that come from I wonder Microsoft sneaky sneaky it's part of the system it's coded into it but they just don't want you to have that because they want you to connect to the internet so they could spy on you and steal all your data. Naughty, naughty. So anyway, now after you've clicked I don't have internet, you can click on continue with limited setup. So now you can type in your name under who's going to use this system. Of course, select a password for yourself. Then at the choose your privacy settings page, just switch all of that off. None of that is needed. Kill everything. And there you go, you're done. Once you've finished everything here, you can go ahead and do all your updates, put in your Windows key, and you're sorted. Okay guys, well that's it for this week's video. Uh, just one more thing, after you've reboot your computer, done all your Windows updates, done all your driver updates, if by any chance it asks you to connect to a Microsoft account, here's one more thing you can do. Okay, press Control, Alt, Delete on your keyboard and select Task Manager. Once the Task Manager is open, search the processes for the word search. You may have one or two or three instances of that. Right click each of them and select End Process. Oh sorry, I mean End Task. Okay, well that's it. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to me. Uh, you can be sure that if Microsoft comes out with another patch and figures out another way to spawn you, I'll be making more videos to work around it. Stay safe, guys. 
I'll see you again in the next one.